Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking into the price increases to CapCut that has led many users looking into CapCut alternatives. CapCut, developed by ByteDance, the owners of TikTok, started as a free, all-in-one video editing app that quickly became a favorite among creators. Its user-friendly interface, combined with powerful features, made it a go-to tool for editing on the go. But then, many users started to see many tools going from free to paid. This required a CapCut Pro subscription, which is understandable, they need to make a profit. A CapCut Pro plan was initially priced at $9.99 per month, or $89.99 annually. But as of the 18th of December 2024, the price has doubled to $19.99 per month or $179.99 annually. That's a huge jump, and it's left a lot of users frustrated, especially those who relied on CapCut for its affordability. CapCut will say the new pro plan price increase includes AI credits. They have also created an entirely new plan called CapCut Standard, which is supposed to represent the old pro plan. There's no mention of AI credits with this plan, but you get access to templates and creative assets. Now don't get me wrong, CapCut is still a great tool, but with this price increase, many of you might be wondering if it's still worth it. And if not, what are the alternatives? For a viable alternative, it must have a similar layout to CapCut and just as easy to learn. Additionally, it should be cheaper. The best CapCut alternative I found is Filmora 14 by Wondershare. Filmora has been around for a while, and its latest version is packed with features that make it a strong competitor to CapCut, especially now with CapCut's price hike. Filmora 14 offers a user-friendly interface with a layout similar to CapCut, so transitioning over won't feel like a steep learning curve. Plus, it's a much more cost-effective solution. Here's a quick breakdown of their pricing options. Basic plan, $49.99 per year. Advanced plan, $59.99 per year. Perpetual lifetime plan is just $79.99 for a one-time payment. Compared to CapCut's new pricing, Filmora is a steal. And the best part? The perpetual plan means you pay once and you're done. No recurring subscriptions, unless you want to use their AI tools. And even then, you can buy AI credits and are not paying a monthly fee for them. So if you don't use AI, you still have the credits for the following month. But Filmora 14 isn't just about affordability. It's also packed with features that can take your editing game to the next level. Let's break it down. First up, AI-powered tools. Filmora 14 includes features like AI audio to video, which automatically syncs your audio with visuals, and smart short clips, which helps you create engaging content in minutes. And if you're into more advanced editing, Filmora 14 has you covered with tools like planar tracking, multi-camera editing, and keyframe path curve. These are features that even seasoned editors will appreciate. Now, you might be wondering, is Filmora 14 the right choice for me? Well, if you're someone who values affordability, ease of use, and a wide range of features, then absolutely. It's perfect for beginners, but also has enough depth for more experienced editors. On the other hand, if you're heavily invested in CapCut's ecosystem and don't mind the price increase, it might still be worth sticking with. But for many of us, Filmora 14 is a fantastic alternative that won't break the bank. At the end of the day, CapCut's price increase is annoying, but it's also an opportunity to explore other tools like Filmora 14. With its competitive pricing, intuitive design, and powerful features, it's definitely worth checking out. If you're interested in learning more about Filmora 14, see the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more updates and tutorials. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you have other editing tools you'd like me to review? I'd love to hear your thoughts.